Hello everyone, portable solar panels are a game changer for off-grid adventures, emergencies and everyday convenience. But how well does a portable solar panel perform in winter conditions? And can it effectively charge a portable generator? In today's video, I'll be putting a portable solar panel to the test in real winter conditions to see how much it can charge a portable generator that has a capacity of 300 watts, how long it will take to charge that generator and how much power I can get to charge everyday appliances. As always, welcome to the show GV Tech. I'm G Veda. Let's get to it. So let's get started. For this test, I will be using a 40 watt Jackery solar panel to charge a Jackery Explorer 300 Plus, which is an approximately 300 watt hour portable power station. And uh, I would just like to note that I bought these items myself and I am not sponsored by Jackery. Since it's January, with shorter daylight hours and weaker sunlight, I wanted to see how much charge I could add over two days. This test will help determine if this setup is practical for winter camping, emergency backup, and general off-grid use. On day one, I started charging at around 11.30 am, with the battery at 71%. The solar panels initially generated 11 watts of power and peaked at 18 watts around 1 pm. By 3.30 p.m., after nearly three and a half hours, the battery reached 83%, adding a total of 12% charge. Not bad, but let's see how it performs on day two. So the sun has come out now, and let's check to see how this is charging. So it's putting in six watts, and it's gonna take 10 hours to charge. So that's what you see, there's eight now, it's between seven and eight is what it's saying that's the input so 10 hours about, about 10 hours to charge so uh, I think this would go up by midday this is about 11 o'clock uh, 11 30 ish on a Saturday so hopefully when the sun's at high noon I'll be able to uh, the wattage would increase in terms of input so let's see how this goes I'm, I'm hoping to charge this up to 100% so let's see how that goes but it's working fine and good. I need to spread this out though. On day two, I started charging at around the same time, 11.30 a.m. This time, the battery started at 83%. The panel started slow at two watts, but by 12.30 p.m. it peaked at 27 watts. By 3.20 p.m., the battery reached 95%, adding another 12% charge over four hours. This results show that even in winter, solar power can still deliver a steady trickle charge, though at a slower rate than in peak summer conditions. So, how long will it take to fully charge the Jackery Explorer 300 Plus power station from 0 to 100% in winter conditions? Based on the average solar output of 16 watts, it will take approximately 18.3 hours of sunlight. That means you'll need around 5 to 6 good winter days to fully charge this power station using just the 40 watt solar panel. If you need faster charging, adding a second panel or using one with higher capacity like 100 watts would be a better option. Over two days, I was able to add 24% charge from the solar panel to the power generator. Now let's see what 24% charge or approximately 70 watt hours can power. Based on real-world power consumptions, here's how long the Jackery Explorer 300 Plus can run some common devices. Flat screen TV with a consumption of 60 watts would run for 1 hour 10 minutes. A phone with a consumption of 29 watts would run for 2 hours 25 minutes. A MacBook Pro with a consumption of 70 watts for charging would be able to charge for 1 hour. A standing fan with a consumption of 45 watts would run for 1 hour 34 minutes and a mini fridge with a consumption of 90 watts would run for 43 minutes. These figures assume continuous use, but in real life scenarios, your device might cycle on and off, extending the total time. First, I've plugged a TV, um, a Nintendo Switch, the sound bar, uh, my tablet, a MacBook Pro, and then uh, everything is plugged on here, so you can see it plugs directly to the device and this is for the TV, soundbar, Amazon Fire Stick, Nintendo Switch and then these two other outlets, one goes to the Mac, this goes to the tablet. 
if you are just charging a phone or laptop, this setup can give you multiple hours of use for just a small solar charge. So, is a portable solar panel like Jackery 40 Watt solar panel a good option for winter charging? The answer really depends on your needs. It works well for topping up your power station, but a single 40 watt panel is slow for full recharge in winter. If you're using it for light power needs like phones, laptops, or small devices, it's a great solution. But if you want to run power hungry devices like fridges or TVs for longer, you need a bigger panel setup or an alternative charging method.